Hi, everybody. <laughs> uh, it's still cold. It's still cold. <laughs> Even our animal prints. We we didn't plan this. This is but hilarious. We're we're themed today in animal print sweaters. I wish I had a coat. <laughs> so we moved over to Parish in the Canoe Creek community. And today we're going to look at the villas. Yep, the villas. We did uh, a video from Canoe Creek a while ago, and at the time uh, you couldn't get a villa to save your life. So now we have villas available. Okay. So the first villa we're going to look at is the, the Crystal, Crystal Sand. Sand. And then we'll take a look at the Tidewater. Yep. So you may have seen these villas, but hey, if you're in the market and you need a place to land during the winter months, this is a great opportunity. And it's a lovely neighborhood. Yep. Yeah. yeah, maintenance assisted. Um, there's 80 of 136 sites sold, so we got about 56 left to go. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're, they're great. So we're gonna go and check out the Crystal Sand. Again, we're at Canoe Creek by Neal Communities. And the Crystal Sand is uh, 1434 square feet of living. Um, with the garage, the lanai, and the entry area, it's a little over 2,000 square feet. So come on in. It's another one of Neil's beautiful coastal style communities. I love the entrances to these villas. Judy, I'm going to pan over here to the left. I like the way that um, this entrance looks from this angle, too. Yes. They're really, really pretty. cute. Yep. Okay, let's go in. Let's go in. Um, before we go in, I just wanted to let everyone know the way it's designed. There's the garage, and this really is a coastal feel because you've got this little breezeway entrance here. Right. So we're going to hop on in. And the Crystal Sands design starts with the dining room on the entryway. You do have an option to enclose this and make it a den. And a lot of people do that. This is a two bedroom villa. So, and they've split the plan up. So if you do have a guest or someone else living with you, you have some privacy. So the bedroom is up here. And this would be toward the front of the villa. So that looks out onto the little alcove. Yes. And I do believe they're, um, these homes come with the window blinds. Oh, okay. And then there's a full bath here, which your guests or your, the other bedroom can use. They're always so beautifully decorated. Mrs. Neal. Mrs. Neal, professional designer. And then a little uh, linen closet here. The nice thing when they're picking all the materials for this, these homes, uh, all the Neal homes, um, Mrs. Neal's involved. So you have a professional designer on the team doing all of that. The washer and dryer is here. And then we walk into the kitchen. We're coming into the main area of the home from the entrance and we have our kitchen here. I really like these stools. They tuck under nicely, but they're, they're kind of cool with the acrylic. Um, beautiful kitchens, tall cabinets. It is a gas community, which I personally really love. And there are some options. Um, they're all doing inventory homes, so you may see an option where this island is flipped, but for the most part, this is how we will, how we will see them. And it's got a beautiful quartz countertop. We'll sink, dishwasher, of course, range, microwaves included. I always love these little trash features. I don't know how I had a kitchen without that. I have before. a kitchen without it and I don't like oh, it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and then your pantry. <clears throat> and then of course we flow into our great room area and they're doing so many beautiful pendant lights we're now moving through the home to the living area. Um, even though it's a 1,434 square foot model, there's plenty of room for a nice you know, sofa. You could do a couple love seats. Um, and then they've got the beautiful tray ceiling options. It's 
It's like having a wall of glass here. Yeah, it's just wide open. This has the pocket door feature. That is an option, but again, they're inventory homes, so they're most likely gonna do a lot of those. And then a really nice uh, extended lanai here. Lots of space. Obviously, this one's extended beyond the lanai cover. This might be a standard because it's also like that down there, but we'll have to double check. Oh, okay. Well, this is the kind of information that we get when someone's really interested and we get all the details. Yep, here it says the lanai is nine foot, four feet by 14 feet, so. Okay. Now we're entering the primary bedroom and bath. Um, they've done a really pretty little blush color in here. It's a nice little touch. And it's a huge size room. Um, the master bedroom in here is 14, eight inches by 12, 10. Again, in a two bedroom villa. Most people think villa, you think tiny. This is beautiful. It has two closets, two walk-in closets. Oh. Well, this one's not exactly a walk-in. One walk-in, one more standard. We're all about the storage here. Yeah, this would be his. <laughs> this would be shoes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, split dual vanities. Your water closet. And then a really good size shower. You walk all the way in here. It's huge. Wow. Yeah, it's very big. It is. And your control is here so you don't get wet turning it on or cold. Uh -huh. That's really nice. No. It, is, it is more spacious than you think. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm looking at this trying to figure out if this is wallpaper or paint. It might just be paint. It's beautiful. Well, she does like wallpaper. <coughs> yeah. What do you think? This is paint. Yeah. <laughs> Very neat. Okay. Just a little design tip there. Yeah, a little design tip. I think I would never think to paint my room pink, and I think it's just beautiful. So little design ideas. Again, it would add to that beachy coastal feel. Right. Okay. Here's an extra shot just of the whole wide open space. Go see Tidewater. Okay. So now we're going to check out the other model, which is a Tidewater, and it's a 1524 square feet of living space, and it's going to be a two bedroom with a den. So let's go in. Okay. I'm going to just follow you all the way, Judy. So Perfect. You get a really good idea of how this alcove is set. It's just cute. Nice Cute. little seating area. I just find it really inviting. It is very inviting. And and they use a similar design in some of their larger homes. So it's really consistent yes. with their coastal. Uh -huh. Definitely. Again, your garage would be there. Right. And let's go in. Yep. There they've showed the the glass door, so it's an option. So we're continuing in on the tidewater. And uh, it's a nice wide entrance, again, for a villa. There's some features in this home that make it feel like a much larger home. So one of the differences between the Tidewater and the Crystal Sands is this is automatically designed as a den. Um, it could even double as a, an office, or you could put a sleeper sofa or something in here and yeah, make it an extra great sleeping space. space. For an office with these three windows here. And then across the hall, is the first of the two bedrooms. A nice wide room. Again, great natural light. Certain builders have certain feels and Neil homes just feel welcoming. They feel comfortable. Um, and there's a nice walk-in closet here. Oh, a walk-in. And there wasn't a walk-in in the other no, one. No, that's, nope. that's one of the differences. Square yep. footage comes yep. in. Tidewater is about 90 square foot bigger than the crystal sand. Okay. I'll come out of the closet. <laughs> Not really. Um, this is a... Not really, because I know all your secrets. <laughs> By the front bedroom is the second full bath. So the, again, real pretty subway tiles up. 
And like we mentioned, a nice wallpaper touch. They've added that. It's got the quartz counters. And then a laundry room, easily accessible. This model, they've added the cabinet, so you can do something like that. Then we come to the great room. And this definitely feels bigger. <laughs> Much bigger. And where the other one had a dining room at the front, this still has a dining space in the great room. And it still feels bigger. Yeah, it's, it feels a lot bigger than 1,524 square feet. So we have a small pantry here. Again, it's just a two bedroom house. It's probably all the space you're probably gonna need. Because you have so much cabinetry. There's cabinets under the sink. There's cabinets here, all the way up. Again, it's a gas cook community. Here they're showing it with the griddle. GE appliances. And they've done enough of a ledge that you can still add a couple bar stools here. Sure. And, and use more of your space. Again, you sneak one on the. You could sneak one here. here. Yeah. yeah. Especially if it didn't have a back. Um, a lot of Florida life is gathering, socializing, and these houses are made to do that just beautifully. And then a big great room. That's a big couch, and they've got a lot of space in here. They've added. The coffered wow, ceiling. That's a nice coffered ceiling. Added design touch. Yep. Aftermarket. Aftermarket. Well, that is, I think, actually maybe an option, but again, these are inventory homes, so all these things are going to be chosen. And then, so we're heading out to the Lanai. Um, here they're showing it with pavers, uh, which I believe is an option or something you can do later. Um, this line is about where the standard Lanai is. This one has been extended and screened in. Um, many of these homes, most of these homes are inventory homes, so some of these lanai's may be extended already. If not, it's something you can definitely add. And clearly it's something the HOA allows because there's many of them like this. And lastly, we're going to the primary suite. This feels enormous. According to the plans, it is 14 by 8 by 13, 11 inches. Well, then it, it is a big room. Yep. Big tall ceilings, nice trim. <clears throat> Similar to the other one, we do have two closets. Again, a walk-in closet and a shoe closet. <laughs> In Judy's world, that would be a shoe closet. <laughs> or a significant other's closet. <laughs> Again, split dual vanities, and they've continued the same granite as the other bathroom, have a little continuity. Quartz, I think. Yep, it feels like quartz. Quartz feels so nice. And then again, a uh, walk-in shower. Now this shower is not as big. Not as big, nope, so not quite as big. This is the only thing that I've noticed it is a different um, yep. layout. And they do have on their plans a few configurations, so you may go in a tide water and the bathroom might be slightly different. Oh, okay. For the better. Okay. And then the water closet. Yep. Well, Judy, there's something about this neighborhood. What do you think it is? I don't know. It's, it's an incredibly welcoming feel. Yeah. It just feels different than a lot of other yeah. villa communities. I'm going to do some street video before we leave. In fact, it's probably be run running right now because <laughs> Betsy, our editor, is, is taking care of those details. And we take care of the rest of the details for you, gathering all this information. Judy does a lot <coughs> of uh, research before we even get out to a community so that she knows what she's talking about. So yeah. go ahead and talk about it, Judy. <laughs> um, so again, we mentioned earlier that uh, a year or so ago, they weren't even mentioning selling the, the villas because right. there were such a wait list and, and hard to get and things like that. So we currently have um, two um, featured homes that are available soon. There is a Tidewater for um, a little, about 427,000, and there's another one, a similar price. Uh, one's available um, January, February, and one's probably gonna be available by April, maybe a little earlier. Um, 
they are only selling the inventory spec homes at the moment. Um, there's one crystal sand coming, but it's probably going to be done fall of 2023. Really? Uh, for the most part, they've done tidewaters. Okay. Um, some great things to mention is there is an HOA fee. Um, it is a maintenance assisted. So they're um, doing your lawn and your weed care, your exterior paint, irrigation, and the amenities. Um, and there's no CDD. So that's all you're going to have. Um, they are very pet friendly. We saw several dogs coming in and uh, it's, it's a real, fr it's already a friendly community. When I was here yesterday with one of our customers, um, people were already saying hi and welcome, are you thinking, you know, moving here, it was nice. Um, it is also a gas cook community, which I thought was great. Um, something that I thought was nice for the villa owners is um, the villas have their own amenity center, uh, which has a pool, a uh, clubhouse, a uh, fitness room, and uh, well, I'm sorry, this fitness room is on the other one. They have their own pool and spa and like an outdoor cook area at the villas. Then they also have access to the larger amenity center here, okay. which has four pickleball courts, dog parks, um, a larger pool, clubhouse, and a really nice fitness center. And the clubhouse is quite large. Uh, we did a video on that earlier. It's so it's a nice place. And um, so the villa people, villa residents can use either. The people in single family homes only have access to the larger one. Um, so they have their own little private area over here, which is and nice. And I suppose that's because <coughs> there's a much larger community across the street yes. of single family homes. Yes. And if they, if it, they were coming over here as well, then the Be amenities would not accommodate. Right. All so, those people. Yeah. And um, it's nice here that it's close. So if they don't want to go across the street and, you know, they can just walk over to their, the Villa Amenity Center, which is right. nice. Um, but yeah, so they're currently selling. Um, they're, they're really just a great feeling villa. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and they've got, like we said, 56 or so to go. Um, anything else you want to add well, about Canoe Creek? Or, it's in Parish. It's a little right. farther out on Golf Course Road. Um, but it's it's a great place. It's very quiet out here. We're closer to established areas of parish, mm -hmm. like where you live. Yeah. Okay. And closer, that means closer to some of the already existing retail, the outlet mall and so forth. Yep. But still pretty close to the interstate. Yep. So your access to North uh, St. Pete, Tampa, it's still pretty easy. Yep. Easy. Yep. And then going south to Lakewood Ranch, Bradenton, yep. and Sarasota is yep. quite convenient. We're pretty close to where Fort Hammer goes from Paris to Lakewood Ranch. So oh, okay. that's kind of a good landmark. So yeah, if you want to go downtown to uh, go down to Lakewood Ranch events, it's probably 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, good. Okay, folks, we hope you enjoyed this tour. And we welcome any questions that you might have. And we certainly appreciate you subscribing and ringing that bell so that you know when a new video yep. comes up because Definitely. we're churning them out. Yep. We have so much information about the new home communities in our area mm -hmm. and the affordability in the parish area really makes it an attractive opportunity Oh, definitely. If you price the Tidewater here against a few south by the same builder, a great builder, they're substantially less. I'm saying yeah. um, we're talking about, in some areas, $100,000 less. Yeah. So if you're looking for an up-and-coming area, I think this might be your ticket. Okay, so until the next time, bye-bye.